Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the first day of Vlogmas. I'm so excited. I love the holiday season. I will be uploading new videos every other day on my channel. So definitely subscribe so you do not miss any videos. I'm actually gonna make myself some coffee. I went to the gym earlier today and I forgot to drink my pre-workout. Well, I didn't forget. I actually left it in the car and I realized when I got into the locker room and it was so cold today I was like I'm not going back outside like it's gonna have to stay in the car. So I still did a pretty decent workout but since I didn't have any caffeine I'm about to make myself a little coffee. I got some new Nespresso pods so I'm gonna try one of them. Alright so I'm doing iced coffee today. This is the Nespresso pod that I use. It's called Frosted Caramel Nuts. My cousin told me if I... Okay. Yay! We're using the Coffea Oat Creamer in Cinnamon Bun. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but that's the only creamer I have. I use the measuring spoon so that way I get the exact amount that I want. Alright, so I'm just going to do two tablespoons. Since we did caramel coffee, I want to try this syrup today. So on today's agenda, first things first, I gotta get up my Christmas tree. I picked up the viral Christmas tree at Home Depot. Well, actually, it's like the sister of the viral tree. So the viral tree was sold out. So I got the sister. The Christmas tree is gonna go right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's gonna go here. I think that's the best spot. Um, I think I'm over the pompous. I think, I think I'm over it. Oh my gosh, I gotta change my, oh, my, not my battery dying already. So I just cleared the area. I'm gonna vacuum this area real quick. This box is so heavy. <laughs> what is in here? Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Coffee break. All right. These assembly instructions look real easy. It's section A, section B, section C, section D. I hope it's as easy as they make it seem. And then this tree stand. Uh, is that a screw? This is the little tree stand. I gotta screw something. Oh, these things. This is sturdy. I did not read the directions, but I think, I think this is what you do. Anyways, I have a lash appointment tomorrow. I'm excited. I haven't had a lash appointment. I haven't done my lashes in a while. I'm going to somebody new because my previous lash tech moved to Connecticut. Well, she's been in Connecticut, but she, she's she been living there, but she moved her business there too. Okay, this is, this has to be the top. I think this is the top. All right, let's put you right here. Okay, this is heavy as hell. What the heck? Oh. Why is this so heavy? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the bottom because it has a little outlet thing. Okay. Girl, this is so heavy. Ooh. Oh my god, tree. Hold on. Girl, tree. Stop. Ugh. Ow. Was I not supposed to screw these things? Girl, this is what happens when you don't read directions. Okay, so I did the base. I gotta pull the um, 
I gotta pull my TV stand. It's looking good already, not gonna lie. And then we're gonna put this section. As we trim the tree, how much I definitely have to like I said I'm plucking all the lights yet but I still want to see if it's working it's this is the prettiest tree I've ever owned it's, this is the perfect height I, this is the most perfect tree like I'm obsessed I think it looks so good this tree is so beautiful I feel like it doesn't even need decorations I'm gonna decorate but it's so pretty. I do need to fluff it out a little bit, but I'm going to wait till my kids get home because maybe they could enjoy fluffing it out with me. I think I'm going to put out some of the sofa decor. I wasn't going to, but I think we might as well do it today. I'm just lens rolling my chair to take off some of the dust. Here's the stuff little mint ball i'm so excited for this oh my gosh okay you can go like right too cute okay so i'm gonna put this in the pillow i actually have some stuff from amazon i actually want to get caught up on real housewives of potomac because i didn't get to see this month's this monday's episode so maybe i'll put that on so i'm just gonna put this here and then we can open up that coffee is so good so good and the um the caramel thing is not like super super sweet it's definitely sweet as caramel but it's not like too much i also just use the serving so obviously if you add more it'll be sweeter but it's good i'm really enjoying it it tastes like boutique coffee you know oh i'm hot i just turned the heat off i was sweating after putting up that tree i was struggling i had to turn the camera off while i was putting the tree together because i was literally sweating like i was struggling so this is the insert for the merry pillow so i'm gonna open this up i actually need to get a bottom for the tree they have those little like casings you could put the tree in i think i'm gonna get one of those i like the wooden look but i also really like you know just the traditional oh this is nice so uh, this is like a down pillow case okay i want to go back to pottery barn but they're gonna take all my money in there because the stuff is so cute so cute oh my gosh you guys i love pottery barn this stuff has just always been my style this is so pretty now i feel like i need to change this behind me i don't feel like it's going with the vibe i don't know <laughs> do people change the wall art for christmas for the holidays because this is not it's not flowing <laughs> i feel like i need something that's not as warm or something anyways let's open up these packages from amazon so those are the two pillows i got from pottery barn i may get one more based on how I feel after I put up these other pillows that I got. This is the cover. These are the covers. And it's this beautiful green. Oh, this is pretty. So, oh, these are big. I didn't realize how big these were. I thought these were smaller. These are big. These are huge. Wait, I hope my Kate, I... okay, so obviously I got green I really hope the pillows I got fit because <laughs> these are a lot bigger than I thought this is 20 inches did I order 20 inches what did I order 20 why does it say 60 by 60 this is not 60 inches 
I don't know, maybe 60 centimeters? I don't know. All right, well, let's see. This is the pillow. I probably should not use my box cutter because, yeah, I shouldn't use that because I could cut the pillow by accident. So this girl on TikTok said that this is like the best pillow. Oh, I'm just not aware of how big 20 inches is because I clearly ordered the right size. But for whatever reason, I thought, oh, this is a nice pillow. This is why it was the price that it was because it was not Amazon price. This was ex this was this was Pottery Barn pricing on Amazon, <laughs> but it's supposed to be, the, you know, like the best the best according to this um according to this interior designer that i found on tiktok these are like the best pillow inserts this is a really nice um case as well i'm probably gonna get a different color when it's not christmas i think this looks beautiful i absolutely love it i did get another case and then i have another pillow from Amazon. I'm gonna put the other one on this corner behind you guys. I need something for this area. Hold on. I need something for this area on this part of the sofa. I kind of made like a C with the couch. This piece belongs in the middle here technically, but I just put it on the end and I joined it. I just feel like it functions better for our space like this. This couch is from Ashley Furniture, by the way. I would not recommend it because it pills so crazy. I have to use like the shaver thing to pill. And honestly, like if it was a cheap couch, I would say, okay, like it's cheap. I expect that, but it was not cheap. It was expensive. I mean, th I think it was like $4,000. It was expensive. It wasn't cheap at all. It just, it depends on how many pieces you get. So I think the amount we got, we, it was like 4000 So it's not, I don't know. It's, it's really annoying because it's hard to find a good sofa and it's hard to know that this is going to happen because I've also seen people say that like the actual so this is like a dupe of the restoration hardware cloud sofa right and that one is like fifteen thousand dollars if you were to get like this many set, uh, pieces but I've also seen people complain about that sofa getting dirty really quickly also like the uh, cushions get so uh, get so saggy and just like shapeless that it looks ridiculous so it's kind of like I don't know. I can't even say that I wish I got that one instead because I would have run into that other issue. Anyways, I'm going to just get... Anyways, let me go get the other pillow. What time is it? I feel like my kids are going to be home any second. Adding the green and the red pillows makes it look so festive in here. I just walked in with this box and I'm just like... Oh, it's so festive. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's open this. Okay. All right, we're gonna put this one. Where is this? Okay. I'm happy I went with this like traditional red and green theme because originally I was thinking like like neutral then i said i don't really like that i really really love i like to look at it like i like to see it like in on display at a store but when it comes to like at home i really love the traditional theme so i'm happy that i did these colors and it's timeless i feel like it's never going out of style it's traditional i was also a little nervous about these pillows because i wasn't sure how green the green was like if it was actually green or if it was gonna be like you know like a teal color but this is the perfect green also another um also a little tip from the interior designer girl that i found on tiktok i forget her name the pillows have to be um bigger than the case i think I think the pillows need to be bigger than the case. Let me just double check. I'll tell you guys right now. I'm just going to look at the um, measurements of what I ordered. Oh, no, I can't because I'm not logged into Amazon. 
I gotta get my computer. I almost forgot I got this little throw. I thought I was done with the couch. I'm not. I have a little throw from Pottery Barn. Okay, I'm gonna go to Amazon real quick because I was shocked to hear this. Okay, so the pillowcases I got a size 24 by 24. And the pillows, I got 26 by 26. That's why they looked really big. I wouldn't, I knew I wasn't tripping. I'm like, this is not 20. 26 by 26 for the pillows, the insert. And then 24 by 24 for the cover. So you want to get the pillow bigger than the cover. And in my mind, I was like, that doesn't make sense. But it definitely looks really nice like this when I see it like in action. I had no clue that's how, you know, things were done. My last little thing that I got. Okay, so this is my little throw. These were on sale for 30 bucks, which is a good price, especially at Pottery Barn. So I think I'm gonna put it on here for now this here i'm gonna take a little break from decorating but i am loving the way this looks so far i need to catch up on a couple emails real quick so i'm gonna do that and then i'll catch up with you guys a little later my kids are about to be home any second i just got done with my emails i'm just gonna fold these blankets i gotta wash them and then store them away for the season i also have these pillows which i need to figure out what i am gonna do with them I think I'm gonna just get some extra cases for these, but I don't know. These new pillow inserts are so good. I'm gonna make sure to put them in for now. I think I'll order a couple more cases on Amazon, like smaller cases, I guess, that I can use for those pillows. This is what I did so far. I am not feeling the cream pillows, so I'm gonna take them out. But I love the green, I love the red and white. This painting is actually bothering me. I don't know if it's just the color contrast. Something about it is just not, mm, I don't know. And then I need to do some coffee table decorating. I am loving my little setup so far. If I do say so myself, I feel like it's one of my favorites that I've done. I just did all my emails. One of my collabs just got approved. I'm so excited. I love when a collab gets approved and I don't have to do any edits or redos so yeah the kids are gonna be so excited you guys they have no idea that i'm doing this oh, they're all, they're all. is daddy home yeah huh yeah he's home he's here daddy yeah, so what the <laughs> mom <laughs> couldn't you have waited a little longer <laughs> I'm gonna go insane. You're gonna go insane? Yeah, couldn't you have waited a little longer for my sake? But you can fluff oh. it out. Yeah, there is a... Mommy. This is extra. <laughs> What's up, Clay? I have no words. You have no words? I can't even comment. What happened? <laughs> Mommy, you're just gonna make me want Christmas to come more. It's coming. No, it's not. It's Christmas is coming. It's let's November 21. Let's, listen to Clay. He Wait, said. Let's watch The Grinch. You want to watch The Grinch? Yeah. Can we watch it today? Sure, yeah. Yeah, because okay. yeah, it's the perfect Wait, day for that. He's not here. Hey, y'all. It's a lot later. It's like 6.30 right now. I haven't vlogged for a bit, but I'm actually on my way to go grab a couple things at Target. Just a few errands. It is pitch black outside. And it's been pitch black since like 4.30, which is absolutely insane. Yeah. I also see like certain parts of New York is snowing. I just hope the snow stays up there and doesn't come down here. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to go to Target real quick. Everyone was so excited to see the Christmas decor. Johnny came in like an hour ago and he was excited too. So I'm so happy. I feel like it looks really nice. I love the colors and um, yeah. Anyways, let's go to Target. My lash tech just switched the uh, my appointment to a, a later time, which is fine, I guess. I can, uh, I don't know if it's actually fine. She asked me if it was okay and I said yes, but now that I think about it, I wish I didn't say yes because it would have been nice to get out of there earlier because I have something else I want to do, but it's whatever. I spoke too soon. Alright, what should we listen to? 
I don't know. Oh, we're gonna pretend we didn't just hear that. <laughs> okay, let's play this playlist here. Oh, I like this song actually. Okay, we have Jack Harlow. I didn't realize it was raining. I would have definitely not left the house. just left Target and I went to Chipotle because I didn't really want to cook tonight so we are doing Chipotle and I got some stuff at Target I got a couple we're gonna head home now it is raining it is the rain is ridiculous this lighting is also ridiculous but that's another story <sighs> thank goodness I have an umbrella because it's windy and it's raining. It's put my bag down. First of all. all right, I'm gonna go home now. I will talk to y'all a little later. Good morning. I actually am about to leave the house to head to my lash appointment. It's 9:57, so I'm gonna leave right now. It's kind of early to be leaving, but I've never been to this lash um, shop before, so. I need to figure out parking. This outfit I'm wearing the Align leggings and then I'm wearing this crop jacket I think. I forget the name of this jacket but they're both from Lululemon. And these are the 25 inch pants and they're literally so similar to the 28 inch. So if there's a color that you want in the 25 but not in the 28 get the 25 because it's like the same exact height. The length is really not that much different. I barely drank any coffee but I need to leave the house. Okay, got it. All right, so I'm gonna go to the ATM and then, ooh, hmm. Actually, there's an ATM right next to this last shop. So I'm gonna go to that ATM. That way I don't need to stop over here. I can just go, yeah, just park. There's actually a lot of parking over here. So I didn't really need to leave as early as I did, but either way, I'm happy I'm here early. I'm gonna go in and like, couple minutes after my appointment i'm gonna run a couple errands my kids actually have a half day today so they're gonna be home pretty early and so is johnny so i guess i'll just go run a couple errands solo and then i'll head home i'm trying to decide what plaza i'm gonna go to i brought my little gimbal because i thought maybe i can use it actually i need to set something real quick i need to change the volume so that i can hear when i'm recording i think that's all i want to change I just have to be really careful not to touch the screen because when you touch the screen it's like very sensitive the screen so if you accidentally touch stuff while you're like recording you could really like change things you, you can accidentally change a setting that you were not trying to change so yeah okay so i guess we can probably head in now so i can get situated We are done. My lashes look so good. I love the way they turn out. She did such an amazing job. Like it looks natural, but it's full. It looks so good. <laughs> I love I'm gonna throw on a little bit of makeup because I'm gonna go run some errands and I just wanna just throw on like some concealer a little bit of powder and then we'll be on our way this is 
20. I love like she does it differently than the other lash tech I used to go to. She doesn't use any like fans. This is all like single lashes, so it's like longer, but it looks so good. It didn't take that much longer, honestly. It took like maybe 30 minutes longer. But I love the way it looks. Ooh, is this a flower shop? Oh, it is. It's a florist. Oh, pretty flowers. So, yeah, I'm just going to throw on some makeup. The guy in front of me, he is, I guess, delivering flowers to people because he's, like, packing up his trunk with all these beautiful arrangements, which is really nice. But I want to say I wanted to come here for about two or three years now because I found her on Instagram, the owner. The reason why I never came is because I had my lash tech and I, you know, I'm loyal. So like she did a really good job. I love her work. It's just that she's a little further. This is in Rockland. I don't need to like cross over the bridge or anything. So I felt bad. I felt like, you know, like I really like my lash tech. I wanted to be a loyal customer. So I never came here until now because she actually moved to Connecticut. So I felt like, okay now i can leave and not feel guilty about it but i'm really impressed with the work like it looks really good really good the girl who did my lashes is not the owner but she's been doing lashes for a really long time like we were talking she's very knowledgeable like she was telling me things about my lashes that i never knew <laughs> um she was saying that like i had a lot of lashes but they were like thinner and I didn't even know that was a thing. And it makes perfect sense because my hair is thin. I was telling her, like, my hair is thin on my head. Like, my hair is just thin in general. I knew I had a lot of lashes. I didn't realize that they were on the thinner side. But it makes sense because my hair is thin in general. Also, like, she was telling me, like, the, the different sizes of lash extensions. And certain, si certain sizes are heavier. And um, not lengths, but, like, the like circumference I guess of the lash the shaft is thicker she was basically saying with me having thinner lashes I shouldn't use certain um, lash sizes because it's gonna weigh down my thin lashes even more and be damaging which I didn't know and I'm happy to know that because that's that's important <laughs> I don't want to damage my lashes if I don't need to pretty much finished my makeup I need to figure out what lip color I want to do I have a ton of lip stuff in my bag. I think I'm going to do the milk lip oil actually. Yeah. I think I'm going to do this lip oil from milk. Okay. Makeup is done. So we're going to head to the mall. I'm just going to go grab a couple like Christmas stuff. I'm going to go grab a couple ornaments at the mall. What time is it? 1.30. I should get there by 2, be done by 2.30, and leave by 3. So I can be home by 3.30. Yeah, that's the plan. Because my kids are actually home already. Johnny's home. So I don't want to stay out too long. So I'm about to go to Pottery Barn to look at some more ornaments and then I have a couple other things on my list. The weather's looking like it's gonna rain so I might go home. I don't necessarily, I don't really want to be out in the rain today. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright y'all, I just got home. I didn't find everything that I needed from Pottery Barn. I actually wanted pillows as well, but they were out of stock. They only had one of the ones that I wanted. So I'm gonna 
try so i'm gonna go back maybe in a couple of days to see if i can find some pillows but i did pick out some more ornaments for the tree i think i'm gonna start decorating tonight and then maybe continue tomorrow or the next day so, yeah. anyways let's go in the house i need to figure out dinner because i'm actually hungry i haven't eaten all day i just had a few sips of coffee earlier and it's currently three o'clock two fifty eight. so i need to eat something um no clue what i want all right so i'm back home i'll show you guys what i got from pottery barn but also also my dad fixed my pants remember these pants i got they were way too long or maybe you don't remember but i got these pants from i got these pants from my outfit online these dark green ones and they were way too long so he he hemmed them for me he used these as like my correct height these are my other pants these are from lounge these actually look very similar like they look like they're the same company like a lot everything about them to be honest even the stitch like the stitching everything looks so similar so i'm excited these are gonna fit perfectly charcuterie snack <laughs> We're back home. We went out to Chili's for dinner. I wanted to show you guys what I got from Pottery Barn. Just like the little ornaments. I definitely need to get one of those ornament holders this year so I could keep these safe because otherwise they're, they will break. First thing I got is this little candy. How cute. And then we got this little gingerbread house. Super cute. And I got this little candy as well. So cute. These, I think they sell them in a set online. So I'm going to check because I feel like I could use a few more of these little ones. Then I got this. Ooh, okay. So I got this because I figure I can add in like a picture of um, like Christmas in here. My kids used to do like the Santa pictures. So I'm going to put one of those in here. And I'm going to also look for other frames that I can add their other, their other pictures in. Because we probably did it for maybe five years we did the Santa pictures. So I'm going to look for all the ones I have and then get frames for each one so they could be like little ornaments so i thought this was cute i love the little christmas design or like the, I, love, I love the plaid as well and then i got one more i guess i got five so yeah, this, so yeah, this one so i got a little puppy like how cute super cute as Billy's naughty dog <laughs> see that <laughs> that's what I got at Pottery Barn and then I did get a PR package I'm gonna open it up from Summer Fridays so let's see I don't remember seeing anything new so I'm thinking these are products that already exist it says hydration this is the little flyer for it Ooh, a face oil I'm excited to try the face oil so these are the three products here I'm actually completely out of this dream deep hydration serum so i'm happy about that because i used this till it was finished so i'm gonna start using this again i actually really like this product i'm gonna try this cream and the oil tonight because my skin has been kind of dry i've been saying that every time i talk about my skin but it's been pretty dry actually today i lathered with the charlotte Silberry moisturizer the one i was telling you guys is pretty thick the night one and so when i was getting my lashes done my face was like super just rich with moisture and um kind of has like a vaseline texture so she when she put the eye patches on they were like sliding all over 
I should not have, I really shouldn't have did that, but I forgot and my face was feeling dry so I was like let me slather let me lather this all over and then lastly I did get a little accessory for my gimbal camera this is a big box for what's about to be in here you're gonna see it's so tiny I don't understand why this box is so big <laughs> this is the box this is what was in here you guys I got a little lens adapter so this is to make it a wider angle lens so this is something that comes with the creator kit like I said in my other vlog in case you didn't see it when I first got the camera I feel like you should just get the creator kit because personally I like having good audio so I usually buy external mics and with this camera I think the only mic that you can use properly or the easiest mic to use with it is the one that they make but they don't sell it separately so you kind of have to buy it with the kit i'm thinking they're gonna make it separate eventually but right now you can't all right let's try this all right i'm actually gonna record on it and then i'll see what the difference is I'm gonna flip this over hey girl hey so we just got the little lens so I'm gonna try the lens on you guys I think you just magnetically snap it on wait first take note of what you can see Ooh, nice it definitely widened up the shot a lot so I think it's a winner and you guys are gonna hear the audio from my other camera but okay so it's perfect I think it's great much better for vlogging Hey girl, hey. So we just got the little lens. So I'm going to try the lens on you guys. I think you just magnetically snap it on. Wait, first take note of what you can see. Ooh, nice. It definitely widened up the shot a lot. So I think it's a winner. Let's turn it around. All right, girl, I am about to put everything away, wash my face, uh, just relax for the rest of the night. I'm going to make myself some kombucha. I'm going to end this Vlogmas episode here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other Vlogmas videos. Bye.